All right, so it is day one of my expert certification training and I am so tired, you guys. Oh my gosh, so the training starts at nine o'clock, which is in like three minutes. Um, I got up around 8.15 and I haven't got up this early in so long. Like you could probably hear it in my voice, you guys, but luckily I don't have to leave my house. So that's a good thing. And then this is what I'm wearing today, outfit of the day. I just got this t-shirt from Five Below. If you haven't got t-shirts from Five Below, bro, like you need to go check there because they have some really cute tees and they're only $5. So I got this one. It says Lucky and it has the sun, the moon, and all these really cool, pretty spiritual nature things on there. Astrology. You already know how I am about astrology, spirituality and stuff like that so I had to cop this shirt and then I just paired it with these new joggers that I got from Boohoo so yeah very comfortable today so I'm wearing that of course I have like um, my pull stuff under here so I have like my sports bra and I got on some shirts under this which you'll probably see later and my hair is like in this braid out it's day two so it's not even in its final form yet like yeah let me go ahead and log into the zoom meeting so I'm not late for my first day of training <laughs> I'm already tired and all we did was the warm up. <laughs> So we are done with the first hour of this entire course. Um, we just did a master class, so that was the first thing that we did. So um, the whole session started at 9 a.m. this morning. It's 10 o'clock now. We just finished the master class, which is basically um, all of the students who are taking this course. We took a class with our instructor, who is VJ Firestarter, which I didn't even know going into this. So I'm super happy because she's super lit. Um, if you're not familiar with Vertical Joes in Atlanta, she is actually the owner and CEO of Vertical Joes. I'll put her Instagram right here if you're not familiar with her. VJ Firestarter, she's super dope. Um, love Vertical Joes. So I'm really happy she's my instructor for this course because I was not expecting that. Um, but basically we just took a class and she basically taught us how um, expert structures their classes so we went through an entire class so all of the students took the class with her um, and it's basically for us just to see what the structure of a class is supposed to look like under the expert certification so yes we took a whole class learned moves did some choreo um, did some improv at the end and I'm already beat. So we're about to get into the lecture now. I'm gonna put my clothes back on, as you can see, took my pants off and everything. But yeah, so we're about to get into these lectures. So I'm gonna see how the rest of the day goes. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get my manual so I can get back in class. A lot of information to cover, and we have a nice size group, so we're gonna dive right into this, okay? All right, so um, this is your manual. Okay, this is your Yeah. 
Girl, the anatomy is confusing. All right, so we are taking a quick five minute break. We are going through the workbook right now, basically just reading through the entire workbook. And this workbook is like 130 pages or something like that. So it's a really long workbook. There's a lot of information in there. Um, if you've been doing pole dancing for a while, like I've been doing pole for over three years now, I'm going on four years. So most of it, it's kind of like I already know and I'm familiar with. However, there is a lot of anatomy and that is the part that I struggle with because it's all about the muscles and the body and what your body's doing and just all of the scientific terminology in the body. So yes, for me that is the most difficult part probably of the course so far is just really memorizing um, the names of these muscles and things like that and also memorizing the movements of the muscles, abduction, adduction, extension, flexion. Um, your lats and quads and just everything in the body just remembering all the anatomy I was never a science person when I was in school so that's why I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that um, but other than that like the course has been going pretty good so far we're literally just rolling through the entire workbook and then she's also helping us pick out the pieces that she knows is gonna be on the exam or things to pay attention to that will be on the exam so yes we have to do a written exam and a physical exam so that's gonna be tomorrow on day two of the course so today is just like literally all the reading and learning and taking notes I'm going pretty good so far we're taking a bit of a break right now and then we're gonna do introductions in a minute and then and we're gonna break for lunch so yeah i'm gonna go grab some water feed my kitty and then get back into the class hello hello so hi. hi i'm kelsey i'm from pittsburgh pennsylvania i've been pole dancing since 2017 and i started teaching at chrome empire here in pittsburgh um, in 2019 uh, so i've been teaching for a little bit over a year now i decided and also i'm an instructor and i create content for youtube as well um, and I decided to take this course because I feel like it'll, you know, make me a little bit more official, give me like a little verified check there, um, and also help with the anatomy and physiology as well because I want to get more into understanding like all of the muscle groups that we're going to be using the more I progress to teach, you know, more advanced things. Um, so yeah, I guess I will do my inter introduction now. So hello everyone, welcome to class. My name is Kelsey. I'm going to be your instructor today. We're going to be working with the eight and a half foot chrome 45 millimeter pole from X pole, uh, just for safety precautions. If we need to exit the space, the door is to my left and down the steps we can use the front and back door as the exit. If we need first aid, it is in the closet across the hall. Today we are going to be uh, learning some basic pole techniques and if anyone has any injuries or conditions I should be aware of, um, please let me know or if you need to pull me aside and you want to tell me privately, you can do that as well. Um, other than that, we'll go ahead and get started with class. Y'all, this woman is a YouTuber, baby! <laughs> crazy first of all I'm not even gonna lie I definitely went to bed at like 2 3 a.m. last night and I had to be up for this course at 9 so I got like a entire five hours of sleep if that so I'm looking a little rough but we are breaking for lunch now I'm about to go eat we just did like our little introductions um bro there's so much information but it's such a good course so I'm really excited to be taking it um yeah it's just like information overload today we're like we're taking in the entire workbook actually you hear them talking i have to dump out this water my cat was literally drinking my water while i was trying to talk and do my introduction 
it's terrible. So right now we're on our lunch break. We're getting a 30 minute lunch break. So we're halfway through today's lesson and it's actually gone by very fast. Um, For this to have started at nine and it's already one o'clock, it's going by super, super fast. So I'm really enjoying the course so far, but I will say it is a lot of information overload. So the thing about this expert training, I'm taking the level one and two expert training course. Now Expo has for pole dancing levels. So of course at other studios and other places, you know, you might have four or five levels, you might have six levels, you might have eight levels, but expert standard levels are four levels of pole dancing. So the course that I'm taking is to be certified to teach level one and two expert pole. Well, this is spicy. Mm, let me show y'all what I'm eating. I just started ordering Daily Harvest. This isn't sponsored, of course, but they sent me this bowl, which has Brussels sprouts, kale, carrots, help jalapeno and lime. So it's really spicy but I love Daily Harvest because they are, I guess they're vegetarian. They're a vegetarian meal delivery kit service. I love meal kit delivery. Mm. I love meal kit delivery services because it makes everything easier. I literally just pop this in the microwave for five minutes and it's ready to go. But man, I probably sound so tired, you guys, and that's because I am. I literally went to bed at like two or three a.m. last night. So I got a full like, you know, four hours of sleep, if that, um, before this class. Is this falling apart? I feel like the bottom of this bowl is falling apart. They said it's microwave safe and I could eat out of it, but it feels like it's falling apart at the bottom. But yeah, so <laughs> it was a little bit of a struggle for me to wake up this morning because I woke up at like eight so I could get ready for class because I, I am not a morning person, okay? I am very, very slow in the morning. My mom hated that as a child. My mom would be up and going and me, I'm just like, nah, sis, like I need time. Always late for everything. But I was on time for this course today, so that's good. I had to get a new cup of water because Mamba was up here drinking out of it while I was in class, like trying to talk to everyone and stuff and he's over here drinking my water but so far so good so all we've done so far we've been going through the entire workbook and that workbook I went back to check it's 146 pages long so it is a very long workbook a lot of information in it and we've also just been pre my boyfriend is so loud and pretty much just preparing for the written exam and practical exam so yes if you're thinking about taking the certification you will have to take two exams so there is a written exam which is basically multiple choice or fill in the blank or whatever like you would do in school like just a basic test like that mamba no kitty here play with that <sighs> Like I was saying, and then the practical exam is literally you teaching a modified class. And when I say modified, basically not teaching a full class um, because the full class is like an hour long. Like we're not about to just sit here and everybody needs to teach a full hour long class, um, but we're gonna be teaching a modified class. So instead of teaching a full class, we'll do like a Mamba, literally. <laughs> So we'll have to do a warm up. Um, our instructor who, Firestarter, if you don't know who that is, bro, I am so happy she is my instructor for this certification. Like I could not have asked for a better instructor, a more lit instructor. Like it's been amazing to work with her. Like I never even thought I would be working with her like this. Like I just had no clue because she's someone I've been following for a long time. One of the people that really inspires me as a pole dancer. She owns Vertical Joes in Atlanta. So if you know anything about that, like you know, like she's super, Super dope, super lit, everyone knows her. So just the fact that I get to be in this class with her basically one-on-one, -on -one, cause there's only about 10 of us in here. So to really just have that like really one-on-one -on -one instruction is what it feels like because it's such a small class. Like we're really getting that undivided attention. Just the fact that I'm able to learn from somebody who I've been looking up to for years now is just so cool. Like it's the alignment for me. You already know I'm always gonna tie everything back to spirituality. So I'm just really glad I'm able to take this course right now and be able to take it from home. So yeah, it's going pretty well. So We've been prepping for that just getting all of the information that we need to know for the written exam which there's a lot of information in that workbook and then after we come back from lunch we're going to start working on things for the practical exam which is basically us teaching a class so yeah that should be really nice like i feel like i'm going to do better on the practical exam rather than the written exam because it's like i've already been teaching for over a year now so i'm pretty comfortable with that but the thing about experts training like they are really really big on safety um really really big on just anatomy and physiology and your muscles like just knowing all the science behind it those are the two main things that expert is going to look for when trying to get certified so i really need to pay attention to that making sure i have the anatomy and physiology down the muscle structures the muscle movements and then also 
also the safety aspect as well because safety is paramount in pole dancing. I also want to say too because I do get a lot of questions about people asking about how to become an instructor and things like that, what I need to do. You don't technically need a certification to become a pole dance instructor, but it is highly recommended just so you have that knowledge and background and understanding of things like safety and anatomy and physiology. So that's why I went ahead and took this course because I wanted, I, I look at it as like me getting verified. Like, you know how you can get verified on Twitter? Like, you know, you get the blue check. Like I see getting the expert certification is me getting my blue check. So that's why I'm taking it. And this course is recommended for people who have at least six months of pole dancing experience. So that's another question I get too. Like how long do I need to be pole dancing before I can become an instructor? You need at least six months. So not that much time, honestly. Yeah, so if you feel like you wanna become an instructor and you feel like you have that basic knowledge of pole dancing, definitely look into getting the expert certification. I mean, of course, I'm not done with mine yet, so I'll give you guys more of an update tomorrow. But honestly, so far, so good. They literally walk you through everything. You have this workbook that gives you all of this information that you get to keep so you can always reference it and everything that you need to teach pole dancing is in that workbook. Um, from the moves to the warm-ups to the cool downs to the muscles, like just literally all the information that you need to teach is in that book. So it really is like Bible. So yeah, I'm feeling really confident. I've been working through the workbook before I even took this course because like I said, this is the first time they're doing this training online like this. Like prior to this session, we were able to basically do the course on our own, which didn't work for me because I'm the type of person, the way I learn, I need somebody to like physically teach me and tell me. I'm not good at teaching myself anything on my own. Like I'm really not a self-taught learner. So I was really happy that they ended up offering this because they probably found out that people were struggling with trying to teach themselves the course um, and then trying to like do the exams on their own. It was probably really difficult. Like I just kind of gave up at one point because I decided to take this course back in like September, October. And I kind of just gave up because I'm like, it's hard for me to do this on my own. Like just to be honest and real with you, it was just something that was kind of difficult for me. So I just didn't know if I was gonna be able to do it. I was honestly just gonna wait until they were able to start teaching the certification in person to go get it. But now that they're doing it online, I feel like it's going really good so far. And I like how it's set up on Zoom. So yeah, I'll be back with more updates throughout the course. I'll probably come back and update later, like after the first day's over. So I'll come back later on. And then tomorrow is when I take both of my exams, my written exam and practical exam. So tomorrow's gonna be, you know, a heavy day. That's gonna be where the real test comes in. So yeah, so far so good, but I'm gonna finish eating my lunch because um, we're about to hop back into class soon. So, yeah.
All right, so we are almost done with the first day of class. We have about an hour left. We're taking a break now. We just got done freestyling. So that's the cool thing about this course too, is like she's given us time to like just take dance breaks in between. Like she'll throw on a song and be like, all right, just freestyle. You know, we'll take a break and come back. So that's why I'm out of breath now. That's why I'm like sweating and my hair looks crazy. But we're about to get our assignment for tomorrow. So I'm gonna have some stuff to study tonight um, because she's gonna give us the tricks that we are gonna have to teach for our practical exam tomorrow. So we're all gonna get like two or three tricks that we each individually have to teach for the exam tomorrow so that's what we're about to do um and then we'll be wrapping up after that so yeah it was a full day but it went really fast and it was a lot of fun so yeah i'm enjoying it going pretty well and not that i'm worried about the exams tomorrow it's just that it gets a little bit more serious tomorrow so here's my notebook with all of my notes literally pages and pages of notes from the workbook with some key things like starred here that we know is definitely going to be on the exam and then yeah we're about to get our assignments now and take more notes and then we'll be finished for today Thank you so All much. Right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bro, I look crazy. All right, so we just wrapped up day one. We actually wrapped up about 10 minutes early. Like I said, it's nine to five for two days and it's 4.50 right now. So, so we pretty much used the last hour to freestyle. So she gave us that time. And then we all got assigned our tricks that we're gonna be teaching tomorrow during the practical exam. So the tricks that I have to teach tomorrow is the basic climb, inverted T, and the fireman spin. So the fireman spin, I got that down pat because I teach that all the time um, to my clients, whether I'm teaching in the studio or teaching virtually, that's something 
something I teach all the time. My climbs, I think I'm pretty good with that. The inverted T is something I haven't taught before, so I'm really gonna have to study that, so. And the thing about expert is they want you to teach in such a specific way. Like if you don't hit all the marks and all the information they want you to tell your students, then you're gonna get points deducted. So I'm like stressing out because they like, the way they break it down, it's like, okay, first you have to do a silent demonstration and then you have to actually break down the move. And then when you break down the move, before you even get on the pole, you have to do it on the floor because you know you want people to know where their body is going before they even try to do the move. And then you have to break down what muscles that you're using, how you're engaging them, what each part of your body is doing. Like just so much information. Like I have all of these, like literally when I tell you I have pages of notes <laughs> from this training, like it's so detailed what they want you to say and do. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. Um, so now that I'm done, I can chill and relax tonight, but I do have to study for both of my exams tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to study for the written exam, which it's 24 questions and they're all multiple choice. And you really gotta know like your biceps, your triceps, extension, uh, flexion, like just all of those anatomy and physiology things, which is like, <laughs> Not the thing that I'm super, you know, good with, but yeah, I think I think I'll be fine. I've been studying for a while now. Like I said, I got my manual back in like September, October. So I've been prepping for this course, but now it's just like actually doing the exam. So yeah, I'm a little nervous, but since we got it, I mean, like I feel confident, like I'm gonna get this done and I have an awesome instructor that I'm working with. So that makes me a lot more calm too. Let me see, like they have, every, like I need to know the type of grip aids to use because there's different types of grips different types of poles um let's see what else do we need to do oh so you need to talk about what kind of hand grip that you're using so you know you grip the pole in a lot of different ways are you using a handshake grip double handshake full bracket half bracket forearm hold like just knowing all the grips so that's another thing too there's like seven or eight different types of ways you can grip the pole so you need to have those memorized body position points of contact on the pole where are your points of contact what is your anchor point the anchor point is the primary contact on the pole the point that you need to have on the pole throughout the entire movement move um how to enter the move how to exit the move uh, and then i need to talk about if anyone needs a spot so like spotting um inverted tricks and stuff i need to talk about how i'm gonna spot you oh and i also need to ask for consent before i spot you because that's very important and then i ask people do they need to see it again and then i'm like okay do it with me um i offer a progression which is like okay how do we make this move harder and then a regression how do you make it easier for people who might not be able to do it that well so it's like yes those are all of the components of just teaching one trick and that's the part I feel like is gonna trip me up because I'm gonna be like all right did I hit on every single point that I needed to to teach this trick so I'm just gonna do like drills tonight like drill 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 how to teach each of these moves you know that's a little bit of the nerve-wracking part because it's like you don't want to miss anything right because that's the point of getting the certification they want you to know all of this information so that you can teach it accurately no matter what so that's why we're like today we were drilling through all of the moves so that was the second half of today's lesson so once we came back from lunch we actually Actually, I'm coming mom but give me like two minutes so we actually went through each move not all of the moves actually because we didn't even do any of the inverts today we just did the basic move so at the end when she assigned up some moves that we have to teach tomorrow and then I heard oh yeah girl you gotta you know do an invert tomorrow I'm just like all right because I never actually taught an invert before but that is why I'm getting the certification so I know how to do it um but yeah so we went through all of the moves and we just basically drilled each and every move we had somebody teach us how to do it and we talked about okay did they miss any information what could they have done better you know this was good oh make sure you do that so it was just like literally just so repetitive repetitive but fun so like this whole course and this whole training it's a lot of fun it's definitely a lot of fun it's very engaging I have an awesome instructor so that helps as well but it's a lot of repetition it's a lot of just doing things over and over and over again so you can really drill it in your brain because you have to know it so it's a lot of memorizing a lot of just understanding and just like I don't know man <laughs> it's a lot because then you also we're talking about how we're on zoom too so you need to be aware of your class even though we're all virtual you still need to be paying attention to your class so tomorrow we're actually going to be teaching as if everyone in the zoom meeting is in our class yeah lots of fun stuff a lot of information but i'm feeling really good about it so i'm gonna go grab some food because i'm hungry i need to eat and i'm just gonna drill all of my moves for tomorrow i'm gonna study all of my notes i'm gonna go back through the workbook and just like <laughs> take all the notes that I need to be able to do the test and the thing about the written exam so it's 24 questions and it's automatically graded so as soon as you put your answers in and hit submit it'll give you your score and you need at least a 75% to pass so I'm like that's a C bro like 
I, I had a 3.8 in college like this should be easy but again I wasn't an exercise science major so I'm basically doing exercise science things now but I feel good about it um definitely not too bad and the fact that we're doing this at home I love how they have it set up like it still feels like you know an immersive experience it still feels like I'm with everybody like everyone is still like interactive and talking to each other so even though we're not all physically together we still have that element of us interacting with each other in a small group which is nice and I'm just glad that I can even take the certification right now with everything going on in this pan seared salmon so yeah I'm just about to study for the rest of the night and I will catch y'all tomorrow for day two over this course at this point I'm not even trying to be like negative about it but today has just been a lot we went through all of the level two moves mind you it's 1 45 right now we just broke for lunch my aggravation is probably more so the fact that I only had a banana today and not any real food so this is like the first real meal I'm eating which is from what is this daily harvest um, I just got a bowl from there and only have 15 minutes to eat we ended up going really long today with the first half of today because you know we all had so many questions we all had so many notes we did some role playing you know practicing teaching the moves to practice for the practical exam and like everybody was just messing up which is like i mean you know we're only we only have two days to get all of this information in our head and to execute it perfectly to pass the course to get our certification so it's a lot to do over two days so a lot is expected of you and to just be alert to be mentally alert and physically alert like i'm still sore from yesterday i'm still tired from yesterday so trying to do another full day of this it's a lot bro i'm not gonna hold you but you know we're getting through it i feel like the whole group like we're all just like cheering each other on like y'all got 
got this, we got this, it's okay, like chill out, don't freak out, you know, everybody's nervous, but it's, it is what it is. Certification, of course, you're gonna be nervous when you're getting tested on something. So we're gonna go back and do the written exam first because we still haven't done that yet. I was hoping that we could do that before lunch because that was the original plan just to get it out the way. I would have loved to just do that first thing in the morning, honestly, but that wasn't the case. So we're gonna do the written exam as soon as we're back from lunch and then we're gonna do the practical exam right after that and then it's gonna be over. So yeah, I know I'm not in the best of spirits you guys, but honestly it's because I'm really, really hungry and we've been doing a lot of physical work um, today so far, like literally since nine o'clock and it's 1.45 and we've been doing stuff on the pole, inverts and stuff and teaching this whole time for these past few hours. So it's been a lot. So I'm gonna eat my food. We're gonna take our written exam. Wish me luck on that, bro, because some of those questions, we actually had some quizzes throughout the morning. Like she took breaks and like gave us quizzes on Zoom to answer some questions that may or may not be on the exam or that will be similar to the exam. And I'm just like, bro. <laughs> this anatomy and physiology stuff like if you're not a science person then yeah you're gonna have to pay a lot of attention to that because like me i never paid attention to any of that stuff the body anatomy and stuff and like granted like yeah i'm an instructor and i should know those things but just knowing the scientific terms and then having to say we are engaging this muscle we are doing this this muscle like everything is so granular the way they want you to teach to be an expert certified instructor i think for the remainder of like the 10 minutes i have left to eat my lunch i'm gonna review my notes for the written exam and like honestly you know what whatever I'm not worried about the written exam it's 24 questions it shouldn't be that difficult but the practical exam actually teaching that's the part that makes me nervous because although I am an instructor and I'm used to teaching I'm not used to teaching in this format because they want to know everything they want you to break it down I have food in my mouth they want you to break it down in a very specific way and it's just like a lot to remember it's like eight different steps to remember just to teach one move bro and i'm just not used to teaching like that but you know what this knowledge is necessary to become a more advanced instructor especially if i want to start teaching inverts and stuff like that i definitely need this training so yeah i'm, I'm gonna get back into my positive attitude i'm just hangry right now i'm hangry my body's tired and I just want to be done because I feel like I did a lot. I feel like I already earned the certification, bro. Like I did all this work, but we still have about three hours to go. So I'm going to eat my food. I'm going to study a little bit for this written exam and I'll catch y'all after that. I'm about to do my practical exam and I am so nervous, you guys. Ugh, so nervous to do this, but I think I got it. I'm like the second to last person to go or I'm the last person to go. So I've literally been watching everybody else do this this whole time. So I literally should not mess up, but you know, nerves, nerves are bad. So we'll just see what happens, but I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I'm going to do good. I'm just going to take my time and go really slow because we have 10 full minutes that we need to use up to do our instruction. So I'm just going to take my time and go really, really, really slow. So I only teach one move. That is the game plan that's all I'm trying to do just be really slow as detailed as possible and then hopefully that is more than enough that I need to do because I'm not trying to teach all three of these moves so yeah I'm only trying to teach one like most people only taught one move some people taught two but I am um oh I thought my microphone was on but um I'm only gonna try to teach one so that's my game plan so yeah y'all wish me luck I know my hair is crazy but I don't care at this point like if you're watching this video and you made it this far like your gang you know we cool sis so whatever we have good days we have bad days so it just be like that sometimes <sighs> but yeah to go ahead and get ready to teach my practical exam part Ugh, here we go all right hello everyone welcome to class my name is kelsey thank you for joining me today all right so the first trick that we're going to be learning today is our climb so just watch me for a moment here so i can demonstrate that for you Just waiting to get my feedback but I did pass so that's good news but now they just need to give me my feedback to see like what I need to keep in mind and what I need to work on but man I am so happy to be done with this and to officially have my certification you guys so we got Kelsey on the way there go Kelsey somebody paying attention to me hello hey, bud. now I know you're gonna amp up that setup game though yes. for the a virtual okay. I already ordered that piece, so okay. <laughs> okay, look, that's all you need in your life, mm -hmm. all right? Because when you do these virtual classes, it, it has to be an experience. Keep us posted on, on what you got, um, what you got going on. 
Definitely. Um, and however we can support if you're ever in Atlanta, come and play. But you enjoy uh, your um your Sunday. If anything comes up, any question, anything, you know where to find us. All right. Thank you both so much. This was Yay. awesome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. So as you heard, I'm officially expert level one and two certified. I'm an expert, ex pro instructor now, officially, official, 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 bro. Could not be happier. I know I don't seem like super, super crazy ecstatic, but that's because I'm so tired. My body literally hurts. I've been cramping everywhere, just trying to hold on for the rest of this day. But I'm super excited. I'm super geeked. Oh my gosh, we were all so happy. Everyone in my class passed and got their certification. So that was awesome that we all got to celebrate together. You know, X gang, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everyone who is in my class, bro. If you're watching this, you ladies were awesome. And it was so great to work with all of you and learn with all of you. And you know, just be there to support each other because this was a stressful weekend, you guys. Yes, it was stressful. Yes, it was nerve wracking, but we all made it. We all passed. We all got our certification. Just waiting for my things to come in the mail but yes i'm officially expert level one and two certified which feels so good to be able to say that because it's like i got my blue check you know what i'm saying it's like i got verified on instagram or twitter but man i am beat it's seven o'clock now we went two hours over because the first of all the practical exams took forever like that was the hard part you know everyone gets 10 minutes each but some of us got a little bit more time so like me my mine went like to 13 to 15 minutes because she kept asking me questions i was like bro like why do you keep asking me questions like just pass me and I was also dead at the people who kept mentioning my YouTube channel because I'm like bro that is not the topic of discussion today like let's not talk about YouTube let me just get my certification so I can go but everyone's really nice and cool and it was an awesome time it was a stressful time but it was worth the time so if you're thinking about getting your expert level one and two certification if you want to become a poll instructor I do highly suggest it so check out the X poll website I will leave all the information linked down below and hopefully this video was helpful and gave you some insight as to what to expect when you go into the expert training yeah i think that's all i have to say you guys i'm hype you know i'm about to be telling everybody like yeah bro i'm expert certified bro you can't tell me anything um but yeah they gave me some things that i do need to work on so you know when we were going over our review um just the one-on-one -on -one feedback they did give me a few notes to work on so i'm going to make sure to work on that so i can just become a better and better and better instructor as time goes on and you guys i think i am going to wrap up this video right here if you made it this far in the video thank you so much give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below to let me know your thoughts on the expert training are you thinking about becoming a pole instructor would you take this training have you taken this training already let me know your thoughts in the comments for this to be the first time they've done this virtually it was phenomenal like i don't think they missed a beat with us not being able to gather physically um i feel like everyone got everything they needed how we did the exams everything was just done so well and executed so well so thank you expert thank you fire starter thank you archer i had the best instructors oh my goodness i had to tell her i'm like bro like i've been watching you for years like and the fact that she was able to be my instructor for this course like let's just talk about the alignment <sighs> man but i'm beat you guys super beat i need a shower i can smell myself i need to go eat i just need to go get my life together so yeah y'all that is gonna wrap up this video thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one